The Steam Deck, just announced by Valve, has an AMD APU with RDNA 2 graphics. Valve has done something that we were all expecting from Nintendo. The Steam Deck, the handheld PC that can connect directly to Steam and play games and is up to 4 times more powerful than the Nintendo Switch. And it's only $50 more expensive than the Switch OLED. So roughly, you have a GTX 1050 on the palm of your hand and lets you game on the go natively handheld on the device. How can we not talk about this? This is just honestly awesome. Another interesting aspect of this endeavor is that SteamOS is free for anyone to use on their own similar devices. This means that if there is demand in the market, you might see other manufacturers coming with their own Steam Deck like devices that run on the same platform. And talking about demand, there absolutely is because the Steam website crashed when the pre-orders were opened and people were not able to even wait for like seconds before everything went out of stock. Valve had taken steps to avoid scalpers by limiting purchases to one device per person. You had to buy some Steam games prior to the purchase to make sure that you're an active user and you also had to put a $5 deposit before purchasing. And having said all this, still there were scalpers on eBay selling this for double and triple the prices. The Steam Deck only launched in the US, UK and other Europe countries but it never launched here in India as of now and we are all waiting to get this on our hands. So now let's talk about the device itself. It's designed very simple to use. You just power on your device, you sign into your Steam and there you go, you have all your games in your library right away to play. The trackpads aren't the only thing, this also features thumbsticks for gaming which also has capacitance which they claim to be best in class. Valve has also ported some features from the Steam controller for touch controls for games like shooters. So now let's get to the details of the tech specifications. On the top left side we have the d-pad, we have a view button, we have a thumbstick, the trackpads, the left speaker and a steam button. That is followed by a 7 inch touchscreen, two microphones for online chat during multiplayer gameplays and then we have the same buttons on the right and the ABXY buttons, the quick access button and the right speaker. So a lot to offer in the front. On the top we have the usual shoulder buttons which looks high quality from the renders. And we have the volume button and a headphone jack which has been disappearing forever. We have that here. And we have a vent for the fans. We have a USB Type-C 3.1. And we have a status LED, a power button and the shoulder buttons on the right side again. We also have four grip buttons on the back like the Xbox Pro controllers and we also have a SD card slot and a vent in the back. The Steam Deck offers a Zen 2 CPU with 4 cores and 8 threads that can boost up to 3.5 GHz. It also features a RDNA 2 GPU with 8 compute units which can boost up to 1.6 and that's about 1.6 teraflops of performance that's roughly say around a GTX. 1050 from around 2016. That might not seem like a lot of graphical horsepower but it's a handheld so the screen resolution that it's targeting at is 1280 by 800 and with AMD FSR now enabling much higher frame rates without compromise on image quality this should run to play games comfortably and the panel is 60Hz and that's the only negative that I have for this product. So it comes in 3 storage options, a 62GB eMMC storage which I would not suggest you get because some games are just bigger than that. And then there is a 256GB PCIe Gen 3 NVMe storage option and also you have a 512GB of the same NVMe PCIe Gen 3. I would suggest you go for this as it's much faster. Talking about controls, they have you fully covered with ABXY buttons, D-pads, left and right analog and bumper buttons, view and menu buttons and 4 assignable grip buttons. And then you have the pressure sensitive Squire crack pads with haptic feedback. And Valve claims it has 55% better latency compared to the Steam controllers. And to top everything off, it has gyro sensor. So for shooters, if you don't have a mouse, the best thing we have next is a gyro guys. 
The screen is 7 inch, 1280 by 800, 60 hertz, 400 nits, and it even has an ambient light sensor. The Steam Deck also supports micro SD expansion, so you need to get a UHS-1 SD card so that you can play games smoothly and fast enough. As in audio, it has stereo speakers with DSP and dual microphone arrays, and it also has a Bluetooth 5.0 so you can connect any Bluetooth headsets with it. You can also connect a dock with the USB Type-C and use it as your personal computer at home and you can connect hard drives, display ports, HDMI, Ethernet, anything you want. It also features dual band Wi-Fi, a 40-hour battery which can give up to 2 to 8 hours of battery life and Valve also claims to feature a quick suspend and resume feature like we see on the Xbox. It weighs approximately 699 grams and it's based on the Steam OS Arch based. The UI looks very nice for a handheld and you get all the Steam features you'd expect. Remote play lets you stream games directly from your home PC to your deck no matter where you are. And you also get cloud saves, notifications, Steam chats, community and the entire Steam store experience is accessible from your deck. What really grabs me about the Steam Deck is the fact that you can dock it and use it as a regular PC. This is in fact a PC and you will be able to connect it to a regular USB dock that has Ethernet, HDMI etc and plug it into a monitor or TV and it will run games from the Epic Store or anything you would want to run from a Linux based PC. You have all the third party mod support for games, you can install Windows on this, you can run office based applications. I can even imagine using this as my primary laptop. Thanks to DisplayPort 1.4, you can connect to an 8K display and work it in 60Hz or even a 4K display at 120Hz on external monitor or TV. So to me, this one device that lets you do all you need and lets you dock it for expanded functionality, giving the user the freedom to use whatever they want on it without locking them into a company's ecosystem of products or even needing to ask permission from the company's platform. This level of freedom, I mean, it also has the headphone jack and a USB Type-C. This really feels like a product that was made by a company that really cares about its users. Shout out to Valve for that. And let's be real, India is a price sensitive market, but an all-in-one device like this which is powerful enough to do day-to-day -day work and also game in acceptable resolution and frame rate, something that is more powerful than the Nintendo Switch, this would be a big hit. A device that can give free online service, unlike other consoles like Sony, Xbox, Nintendo which charges you for going online and playing with friends, that is ridiculous. What we want is a device that does not try to lock you into an ecosystem like Apple and make you pay the premium prices and taxes. A device that is reliable enough and won't break and have joystick issues like after 5 months and you needing to buy a new one. That is, this is something which we want. There is a hardcore consumer base here in India that is willing to spend the money on such a device and the Steam Deck could be the closest that can deliver that reality. If the Steam Deck can launch at a price of $399 or about 29,000 Indian rupees here in India or even maybe 39,000 for the higher models, this would be easily a replacement for sluggish laptops we get at the price point, you know, at a similar price point here. I would rather buy this rather than Xbox Series S or a Sony Digital PS5 because those are consoles and you can only use them for gaming but the Steam Deck can be your PC and also your gaming device. So feel free to share this video to your friends and start discussing and let us know your opinions in the comments. Let's really talk about this and let Valve know that there is demand for this in the market so that they can release this product in the respective markets and let us all have fun using this. So thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. This is Avi from Fusion Studios. Have a great day.